I want to go over the RTX 5090 desktop version versus the RTX 5090 laptop version and what we can expect with the graphics cards from NVIDIA desktop versus laptop versions. So I just quickly want to show you guys some of the numbers with that so that you can get an idea on what I'm talking about when I'm comparing the 5090 and 5080 desktop GPUs to the 5090 and 5080 laptop GPUs. If there is even a 5090 laptop GPU because just i don't it's gonna be a massive laptop that's all i'm saying so right here the nvidia rtx 4090 founders edition 4090 laptop version and then a 4080 just normal gpu so for the desktop version of the 4090 we have 209 fps inside of this game or okay so this all right so f122 two. Oh my goodness f122 well I'm not even going to try to pronounce the game. Um, so anyways, we have 1920 by or 1080p by 1440p, and then we also have 4K. So these are the numbers with the RTX 4090. And then if we come down here, you can see the laptop. There's not that big of a difference in the comparison. And yes, I'm fully aware, dude, that, okay, I get it. We're losing about 17 FPS at 4K, but I mean... I mean, if you can actually see a difference in 17 FPS, then I would love to have your eyeballs. I got 2020 vision, so it's not that I don't have good eyesight. So, and then if we come down here to the RTX 4080, we're also only dropping about 10 FPS from the actual 4090, whatever, laptop version. So if we get an RTX 5080, and let's say it's performing at 80 FPS, I think that we're going to get the 90 FPS with the laptop version of the RTX 5090. And yes, that's a 10% FPS difference, but because they're higher numbers, it's not as big of a percentage, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to some of you. So if we can continue to scroll down here to another game of Total War, and we're going to be, we're going to see the exact same thing, except the crazy part about this game is that the laptop GPU performs better than the desktop GPU, which is, I mean, you go ahead and tell me, but the, the, on, if we continue to move down and get even more confused, we now see a 4080 performing better than a 4090. So there, so it's like, what, 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 what are we talking about here, bro? <laughs> but if we continue to go down here, we got synthetic testing for the UL 3D Mark. We have a 4090, the 4090 laptop, and then we also have the 4080 desktop variant. We continue to scroll. All right, so this is the end of this article. And then if we come over here, the mobile RTX 4080 is 35% slower than the desktop 4080. So if we go to 3D Mark, we have 1920 by 1080p Fire Strike graphics, and it's comparing the 4080 to the laptop. And then we also have a GTX 1080 graphics card, and then 1080 mobile graphics card, so that we can kind of get an idea of the. So if, if you look at this, this is what I was saying about the FPS with the 5090. Uh, right, so if I come back up so I can remember what I was talking about. So 60 to 70. So we got 4080 and then we have the 4090 laptop version. So it's about a 10 FPS difference. And then if we come over here, it's about 2000 difference. And then right here is 18,000. That's, that's actually, that's a terrible example because that's a massive difference right there. So let's see if we get we can scroll down here and get some FPS numbers. And if you for those of you that are wanting to see all of this stuff, feel free to go ahead and pause the video and the, the percentages and all of that kind of stuff are on that side. But overall, I think pretty much the RTX 5090 versus the RTX 40 or 5080 or oh my goodness. The RTX 5090 laptop version is going to perform basically the same as an RTX 5080 desktop variant. Now, I know that this is me kind of speculating a little bit, but if we come down here, um, I know that there was a comment. So we have chip 8102, chip 8103, and then chip 8104. We have an, an RTX 4090 at 450 watts, an RTX 4080 at 320 watts, and then an RTX 4070 Ti at 280 watts. And then there is no laptop equivalent to the RTX 4090, obviously, and the RTX 4090 laptop. Just, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, dude, that's not that terrible of a difference. That's a, so if we, 
if I come back and go to Google and I type in Google RTX 30 eight, or 3080 versus 3080 laptop or 3090. Oh my goodness. All right, RTX 3090 versus 3080 laptop. All right, so we're gonna come here and we're gonna go to here, 3080, 3080 Ti laptop versus 3090 GPU. That's actually a good example too. All right, so if we come here, we got the 3090 versus 3080 laptop. This is 1200 bucks, yeah. All right, so let's go to the, F so we got 310 FPS. In the lightning, we got reflection, gravity. All right, so if we, I'm trying to find the FPS for you guys so that we can actually get a really good idea. All right, so we're not gonna see that much of it. All right, so if we come here, this is about 68%. Like, dude, you see where I'm getting at? Like the average, or no, hold up. So is it, all right, so let's just, let's take a middle ground here. So like you can kind of see the value sentiment, the nice to haves, average benchmark, all right, so you can see that there's a massive difference. 70%, 83%, 70%, 400%, 60%. Like we're not even, we're not even like, we're talking like, all right, so for 40 series, all right, I'm, I'm losing track here. <laughs> um, So if we come, all right, so the 40, all right, no, this is, bruh. Where's the one that I was trying to find? The 35% article, where is it? All right, so this right here. So the 4080 being 35% slower than the desktop. And then if we come back to the 30 series, the 3090 versus the 3090 versus 3080 Ti laptop. Is that what we were just showing? Okay, no, so there's there's not 3080 Ti. All right, so this is a 3080 in comparison, 68, 83, 77, 387. And then if we come over here, 900, Bought 58, 71. Yeah. So you can see like the, the, the difference in percentages that, that we're going over here. So I genuinely think that the RTX 50, 5090 laptop is like going to be like literally the same, if not better than an RTX 5080. And then if we, if we compare like a, a 5080 laptop in in like comparison to like a 4080 graphics card, I'm gonna say it'll probably be like five, maybe 10% better than an RTX 4080 desktop version. But then again, that, this is just me taking some wild guesses. There's literally nothing on this. I'm just like, I did like a little research gathering some information. And then the only like way to like make this video dude is to like combine everything and just like talk about it. Uh, because the only leaks that I have seen, like, like leaks have been for the desktop stuff, like the 5090, and then we see the 70% and then the boss and then the, all the memory and then having GDDR7 and then all that kind of stuff. But we don't see anything on the laptop versions of all of this. And I think that, I don't know, dude, let me know what you guys think. This is all speculation. So feel free to leave your opinion down in the comments since this was all my opinion. Um, but yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.